So guys, today in this video, I'm going to talk about top five settings you should change on your home router. If you did not change this Wi-Fi router settings, then you might giving some loophole to hackers to get into your router or get into your network and hack your systems. So in this video, I'm going to show you what are these settings you should change on your router. So further ado, let's start the video. Okay guys, now first thing we need to change in your router is the admin panel access URL. By default, every router admin panel URL is set to this IP address showing on the screen. If I take a browser and type any of this IP address, then you can see this is my current admin panel IP address. If I keep this, then a hacker can easily guess the admin panel URL of our router and using brute force attack can get into our router. So we must have to change it. Let me show you how to do it. I am using TP-Link router. If you are using same, then the option will be same like me. And otherwise, you have to find out the option of those settings in your router. Now let's log into our router admin panel. Then click on network. And click on LAN. Now from here, you can change the default IP address of your router admin panel. Type the IP address and click on save. Now it will reboot your router to save the changes. After the reboot, you can see here your admin panel IP address is changed. And if I try to use the default IP address, you can see it's not working. Now the second thing is changing your admin panel default username and password. By default, every router username and password are falling on the screen. If you do not change them, then it will give hacker a easy way to get into a router. Now let me show you how to change them. Log into your router admin panel and click on system tools. Then from here click on password. And from here you can change your router default username and password. It's a good practice to set the password using the complicated sequence of alphabet, symbols and numbers. Now click on save and it will change the credentials. Now you have to use the new username and password combination to get into your router admin panel. Now number 3 setting is about the Wi-Fi access point. Click on wireless and from here go to WPS and you should keep disable this WPS option. Then go to wireless security and from here select the highest version of the protection and encryption. Right now it is WPA2 but soon you will get the WPA3. Recently in July 2020 WPA3 is released and if you get that update on your router I will suggest you to use that one. And also use complicated password for your router which is hard to guess and brute force for hackers. Now our next setting is enable the firewall and blocking access to the router of the other device which are connected to your network. Click on security and from basic setting make sure to enable firewall. And from local management only give access to particular device that you frequently use. And the last thing is if you enable router remote management from one, then I'll suggest you to make it only accessible from your internal network. So guys, that's all the basic setting you should change on your router to protect your router from hackers. 